going to wait around forever for a fair contract at the big three. The companies know how to make this right. The United Auto Workers Union president says they are tired of waiting. The union is expanding the strike against two of the big three auto companies. But one of the companies is safe tonight. It's our top story right here at 6. I'm Shay McAllister. Here are the three things that you need to know right now. The UAW expanded strike to 38 more plants. Louisville Ford plants are not part of the plan. The UAW president said the Ford negotiations are progressing faster than those at General Motors and Stellantis. WHAS 11's Ian Hardwit and senior photojournalist Alyssa Newton hear from the local union hall about what Ford's giving back. The announcement this morning was definitely great. It's a feeling tempered with the fact that gains made today are making up for the past. Nicholas Dean left Ford in 2007 because of UAW's contract concessions. He had no choice. There was his newborn child and family to support. But now their time has come and gone, the companies have benefited. We want what's ours. We want what we deserve. We want what we feel like we're owed. At the time, UAW Local 862 leadership said it was for their survival. Ford reinvested their savings into the plants. Now the president today, Todd Dunn, says it's time Ford paid the union back for what they gave up. There was a lot that we gave back, especially for our retirees to help our companies. You know, we gave our COLA up. Uh, cost of living, which is something that's coming back to the table. Ford says they're working diligently with the UAW. In the union's announcement Friday morning, President Sean Fain said they reached some agreements, like the right to strike over plant closures, a 13.3% increase in profit sharing for employees, and cost of living adjustments for their wages. I've seen incredible strike-ready demonstrations across the country, local 551 and local 862. We see you. Dialed in, yes. Ready to strike, yes, but very hopeful that what I'm hearing right now is going to lead to a tentative agreement. He hopes to see the best contract agreement ever in his 28 years with the union. And I feel comfortable that I will. With ground made today in the union's favor, Dean looks toward the increasingly certain future of a tentative contract. It shows that we're, we're still in the fight. What happens across the board with the big three definitely uh, affects all of the UAW employees, UAW family members, and unions across the United States of America. We asked him what he thought about a local strike, a possibility seeming less certain with Friday's announcement. That, I can't say, but if it does, the South is ready. It's what the union continues to say, but whether it's necessary remains to be seen. In Louisville, with senior photojournalist Alyssa Newton, Ian Hardwit, WHAS 11, on your side. All right, taking a closer look, 38 plants in 20 different states are on strike right now. The plants are part of the distribution centers for General Motors and Stellantis. It's now affecting 18,000 workers across the nation. The companies have laid off about 6,000 workers, a move they say is strike-related, though it could take weeks for us to see the actual repercussions of this strike.